Hello, and welcome back to Electrified Reviews. I hope you are having an awesome day, and we are happy to have you here. Today we are reviewing the Rambo Prowler electric bike. I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you are a hunter, if you are a bike packer, or if you just love camo, you are going to love this ride. The Prowler is a powerful, capable, and accessory ready deep woods machine that is geared for extreme adventures and stowing tons of gear. And I think this e-bike genuinely enjoys challenging terrain. It certainly feels like it comes alive when the tires hit the trails. The Prowler is a top shelf electric bike with premium components and a frame perfectly designed to attach a load bearing front basket, a rear rack, and a trailer. This ride pretty much has it all, and it had better because the starting price on this monster is a hefty $6,499 USD. Ouch. <laughs> it currently comes in one frame size, a 19.7 inch frame, and for reference, I am 5 foot 10 inches, and this bike fit me great. It also currently comes in one color, a camo pattern that is proprietary to Rambo, which is pretty cool. Rambo offers a limited lifetime warranty on the frame, a one-year comprehensive warranty, and a 30-day return policy. Just remember to register your bike to activate the warranty. Also, Rambo offers free shipping to the contiguous United States, which is a nice little bit of savings. All right, let's dive into the specs. The Rambo Prowler has a buffeting mid-drive motor with 1,000 nominal watts and 1,500 peak watts of power and a massive 160 newton meters of torque. This motor is ridiculously powerful. It's like a very tiny nuclear reactor. And because it's a mid-drive, it's able to leverage the gearing for even more torque or speed, depending on the gearing. And speaking of speed, the Prowler will hit 30 miles per hour, no sweat with just the throttle. And we were able to get this bike up to about 35 miles per hour while pedaling on flats. Now that's fast. When it comes to climbing hills and accelerating, the Bafeng Ultra is a hard motor to beat. And if you plan on towing a trailer or loading the Prowler up with cargo, well, it's just a thing of beauty, really. It also has a super smooth and super precise torque sensor, which means you're always getting just the right amount of power. It really makes it feel like the Prowler is an extension of yourself. The Bafang Ultra is a great motor on its own, but in this case, it's paired with an Enviolo continuously variable transmission. Not only does this gear hub offer a wider range of gearing compared to most traditional derailleurs, but it also locks the gearing whenever the drivetrain is under stress, and this helps to prevent damage. In other words, you have to briefly let off the gas and stop pedaling to change the gearing ratio. Honestly, it feels a lot like switching gears on a motorcycle, which is pretty sweet. The battery on the Rambo Prowler is a 48 volt, 17 amp hour system with a max estimated range of 40 miles. Now this range is totally doable if you keep the pedal assist in a low setting and use the throttle sparingly, but at full power, this motor demands a lot of juice and it will eat up the battery in a few big gulps. So basically just keep that in mind if you plan on going for an extended trek because the last thing you want is to get halfway there and you're already out of battery. The battery is locking and removable and is housed inside the down tube, which keeps the frame looking sleek and also helps to keep the Prowler pretty well balanced. The Rambo Prowler weighs in at 70 pounds and has a 300 pound carry capacity. Rambo did a really good job at planning ahead and provided bosses all over the frame. We've got four on the down tube, which is great for a bottle cage or battery holder. There's four bosses on the stem in case you do want to attach a load bearing basket. And there's a few sets of bosses at the rear of the frame that can accept a rear rack or even a trailer. The frame is also super rigid and seems well suited for rough paths and trailblazing. The through axles are another good testament to show what the Prowler was designed for. For suspension, the Prowler has GT860 inverted air forks with about 120 millimeters of travel. These forks are fully adjustable, of course, and they're pretty smooth. While they're not really geared for big air, they're perfectly suited for leveling out rough roads and making huge gnarly roots feel like little twigs. The huge Maxxis Minion 27.5 inch by 3.8 inch tires act as another layer of suspension thanks to their huge air volume and they also provide great traction on slippery terrain, especially when you air them down. 
To bring the Rambo Prowler to a stop, we've got Tektro Dorado quad piston hydraulic disc brakes with a 203mm rotor in the front wheel and 180mm rotor in the rear wheel. These brakes got grip, man, like throw you over the handlebars kind of grip. And it may seem like overkill in perfect riding conditions, but again, the Prowler's home is somewhere deep in the woods where it's wet and muddy, where the conditions aren't perfect. And that's when that extra grip comes in handy. The Pro Max 770 millimeter handlebars feel like the perfect width for maintaining good control and the locking grips ensure that you don't get any slippage. On the left side, we've got the independent control pad, and on the right side, we've got the Enviolo twist shifter. The Bafang display is big, it is bright, and it is beautiful. I love this display. It is just honestly so great. You can easily see it in direct sunlight, and if you want to, you can actually adjust the angle of the screen. Overall, the Rambo Prowler is an impressive machine that boasts not just impressive specs, but a well-thought-out, purpose-built design. The Prowler doesn't like the roads, no. The Prowler, I think, scowls at pavement. This electric bike wants to roam free, and you can feel that when you ride it. I love the added bosses on the frame for that extra functionality. I mean, you could load this thing to the hilt with a front basket, rear rack, and a trailer, and with that 1500 peak watts of power, 160 newton meters of torque, and the super low gearing from the Enviolo, you could ride for miles without even breaking a sweat. For hunters, bikepackers, and trailblazers, the Prowler is a ride worth checking out. All right, awesome peeps, that is it for the review of the Rambo Prowler. Now, let's take it out for a ride.